In the previous video, I talked about scopes, when you want to use scopes, and why you'd want to use scopes. Now in this video, I'm going to apply the concepts that I talked about in the previous video so you can see some practical examples of what I was talking about. So if we review the diagram for the dagger architecture, I guess you'd call it, we're going to have three total different scopes. The at singleton annotation will take care of the application level scope, so kind of the app wide scope, it's just going to be at singleton. The uh, second scope will be for the auth component or the auth activity subcomponent. That's going to be the auth scope. So that's going to be all the dependencies related to authentication and logging in the user. And then the uh, third one is going to be main scope for main activity subcomponent, but it's main component on this diagram. And that's going to be all of the dependencies, the API calls related to uh, when the user actually has access to the application. So kind of after they're logged in. All right, so the first step is I'm going to, oh, I didn't want to do anything. I, I want to go into the DI package, go into auth, and we're going to create that auth scope. And um, so if you take, actually, before I do that, I know I've mentioned this previously, but if you take a look at this singleton annotation, so if I just hold down control and click on it, we see that this is all you need to define an, a, a, a scope. It's just an annotation. There's nothing really special about here about it here. It just has the at scope annotation and Dagger will interpret this as a scope. So like I can uh, literally copy all of these properties. I'm gonna go into the auth package inside the DI package. I'm going to create a new annotation class and this is going to be called auth, auth scope. And this is going to be a custom scope. I'm pasting in everything that I copied from the singleton and there we have a scope. That's all it takes to create a custom scope. It is uh, no different than the singleton annotation or the singleton scope. It's just another scope or another name that I can give to a component or a grouping of components. Now what we wanna do is we want to apply this scope to a particular component or subcomponent because remember that's how it works. The scope or sorry, the component owns the scope once you apply it to the component. And we have a couple components. If we look at the diagram, we have app component, auth component, and main component. The, the uh, whoops, I should bring that back up. Auth component and main component are sub components. This is the parent level component. And uh, remember too, also just kind of as a reminder, the only way to see the sub components is in the code generator. So if I go into the DI package in the code generator, you can see uh, the two sub components here. You have auth, uh, you have auth activity sub component, and you have main activity subcomponent and those are being generated by the at and contributes android injector annotation if all of this is gibberish to you and you are just watching this video if this is the first video you're watching in this course you're going to need to go back and watch the previous videos in the course otherwise you're not going to know what the hell i'm talking about so make sure to go back and watch those videos so anyway now let's apply this auth scope to our subcomponent all i need to do is annotate the uh, auth activity declaration of the at contributes Android injector. And now that subcomponent will be, or that subcomponent will own the auth scope. And uh, now that that subcomponent owns the auth scope, we can go into the dependencies for that scope and we can also annotate those. So I'm going into the auth module, annotating the only dependency in here, which is the auth API, annotating that with auth scope and uh, that's, we should be good to go. Now we've annotated all of the authentication level dependencies uh, with the auth scope dependent with the auth scope annotation keep mixing up my words uh, so they're all going to be part of the auth scope next is the main scope so again if you look at the diagram we have auth scope and we have main scope so we're going to create another custom scope so i'm right clicking on the main package this time going to annotation again this is one this one's going to be main scope and once again i'm going to go into the auth scope i'm going to copy those properties I'm gonna close all of these because we don't need all these open. And I'm going to add all those properties to the main scope. And there we go, we have our main scope. Nothing out of the ordinary here, pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to activity builders module and I'm going to annotate the at contributes Android injector so that the main activity subcomponent will, be, uh, will own the main scope. Now that that owns the main scope, I can go into the dependencies for that module so main module and i can annotate these dependencies with main scope and now these dependencies will all be part of the main scope and they will only exist as long as the main scope is alive or sorry the main component is alive uh, which is essentially main activity and that's uh that's really all there is to it now we have 
uh, two more scopes. They have uh, we've scoped the dependencies, we've scoped the subcomponents, uh, and we're we're pretty much done. We're ready to go. So now I'm gonna I'm actually gonna stop this video here because I know it's probably around five minutes long already. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you some examples to help solidify uh, your knowledge of scopes. I'm gonna show you kind of using different dependencies. Um, show, I wanna show you the memory addresses of the dependencies if you scope them as opposed to not scoping them. So you can see like practically speaking, you can look at the log and you can actually see why we scope. Um, so definitely watch the next video. It's gonna be really valuable.